Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. I'm Mr. Wrong Way, and today I'm gonna tell you what's on the Wrong Way agenda for the coming year. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. And of course, remember to support a free Palestine and a ceasefire. First of all, I have to thank you guys for watching, for commenting, for supporting the channel, for spreading the EUC gospel, as Sean says it in his videos. Without your support, any of this wouldn't be possible. So the last year has been really amazing in terms of progress for me. I went jumping with Mike Leahy, I went to Amped Electric Games. We made excellent progress in jumping, in skills, riding backwards. We went to many countries. We went to Canada, the US, went to France. You can check all of those videos out on the channel. We also had some tougher times. I needed to communicate better. I made amends. We sorted things out. And uh, this year has been really a lot, a lot of stuff happening for me. Nevertheless, one thing has not changed at all, and this is my love for riding these things. And any time I try to get on something else, well, I miss my EUC. If I get on a train, well, it's nice, and I go really far, and I wouldn't go so far with, a, with an EUC in three hours. But then again, when I get off the train station and I'm floating 20 centimeters above the air on my wheel, I feel blessed. I feel really amazing. And even though there's, of course, issues with those things, I wouldn't change this mode of transport for anything else. Well, this is my way of life and I really love it. And in this spirit, I wanted to change things up a bit for the coming year. So if you are a long time follower of the channel, there has been a lot of changes throughout the years. We were reviewing scooters before, <laughs> or e-bikes. <gasps> and we narrowed it down just to reviewing EUCs. And the more I was reviewing those wheels, the more in-depth we got and the more videos I was creating on those wheels. Two years ago, I would do a review after 100, 200 kilometers. And now I'm riding the pattern, which is sadly broken for now. It will be fixed at my e-wheel. And I'm riding it since 2000 kilometers and I still did not publish a review because I want to get in-depth with it I have tons of other videos to do in the waiting line and I really want those reviews to be proper, long-term use with issues mentioned, even with issues that are not plaguing my unit. I, I just dig into the community and find out what's happening. But after a while, I noticed that all of this reviewing and the plethora of wheels that are coming out now, the plethora of issues as well, repairs, they need time, they need fixing, subtracted a little bit from my enjoyment and other videos that I like doing with those EUCs. You have to keep in mind that I set a standard for myself of creating four videos per EUC. So with, for example, the veteran Shermans, first we had an unboxing, we had a ride review, a teardown after a while, maybe 500, 1000 kilometers to see if anything is broken inside. And then we made the final review. So this is four videos just for one wheel. And then imagine you have four or five wheels to review. Then you have 20 videos. 20 videos is actually, <laughs> well, now I'm realizing it's, it's so many videos per wheel. Each one of them in perhaps three or four days, sometimes more. So then I'm left with a lot of work and maybe not so much time to do some of the other stuff that I enjoy on wheels. What videos, for example, you might ask? Well, for example, the most recent video about how to fly or jump on electric unicycles. This video was just a blessing for me to edit. I was smiling all the time. I was just connecting all of the parts in LumaFusion on my iPad while editing, and it just brought me so much joy. And after releasing it to the public, to you guys, seeing all of the support, all of the comments, you know, the comments that said, look, I needed this. I really want, uh, wanted to see a video like this made me realize that I really want to do more of it. And sadly, with the amount of work, with the workload that I have, with all of those reviews that I'm doing, sadly, it would not be possible. So with all of that in mind, what is the plan for now? Well, I won't give up reviewing wheels, and that is for sure. Don't worry about that. But I have a couple of steps and some information for you guys uh, on the changes that I want to bring to the channel. I, I think good changes, at least for me, so otherwise my, I might be burned out after a while. <laughs> that will impact the content that will be published on the Wrong Way channel. 
So first of all, I need to lower the amount of wheels I'm reviewing. As, and as much as I'm excited for all of the wheels coming out next year, sadly, I cannot physically record it all. So I will focus on maybe one or two wheels that I use very frequently because I will still be riding wheels. I'll be reviewing them sort of passively by using them. And if I get another wheel for testing, I want to use it rather as a medium. So I want to take this wheel, do a trip on it, maybe make a guide. So the wheel will be part of the video, but not the whole theme or subject of the video, so to speak. So it's more about the story, more about the adventure, more about what you can take for yourself as an EUC rider, rather than just a product guide. And then for the second half of 2023, I want to let you guys also pick a wheel with the most votes. Maybe you have a method how to do that. If you want to do it by, by popular vote, if you want to do it in any other way, the audience, you will actually choose a wheel that I will need to review or any product maybe. Maybe I need to re review a robot vacuum. I don't know, what's the range of a iRobot Roomba? <laughs> I want to do this for the second half of 2023 because I have still a lot of wheels coming my way and I do want to review them as they come under my feet. That is the Emotion V14 and the Veteran Lynx. In terms of other new wheels, I don't know yet what I will get and what I will do with it. Naturally, I will also finish all of the reviews of wheels that I still have for testing, like the Kingsong 16S, the uh, Veteran Patton, the Bigode Extreme. So don't worry about reviewing content, it is still coming your way. The second thing I want to do is I want to compress the amount of videos I do on a wheel. So now it is four per wheel. I want to compress it into two videos. So the ride review and the unboxing will be turned into the first impressions. Now, I found out when I was unboxing wheels, I can get a lot of stuff wrong just because I don't notice something in, in, the, in the first place. If you want to get some good first impressions, you'll, you need to ride the wheel for maybe 200, 300 kilometers. And then the ride review is sort of connected to that. So I want to merge those two videos into the first impressions. And the second video in this new form of um, video making content Thing, will be the review. I want to include the teardown into the final review because in the final review I talk a lot about durability, reliability, features, quality, etc. anyways. So why not put the content that would be in a separate video into the review? Maybe the video will be a bit longer then but it will be in one chunk and there will be timestamps so you can find this content anyways and it will again speed up the process for reviewing a wheel at the wrong way channel. So this is about the reviews, but what other plans do I have for the coming year on this channel? And also at beginning December and even November <laughs> this month, I want to create more videos on how to do stuff on a wheel. I want to make a tutorial again, how to climb stairs properly. I want to make a how to ride downstairs video. Maybe I, there needs to be a freshener on how to ride EUC, how to learn. And I really want to get more creative with um, the stuff that I'm doing with EUC. So for example, we recently uh, hit the 1000 like goal on my extreme ride review video and therefore we'll go climb a mountain. So this is all set. Thanks for hitting like on this video. And we already found a mountain, Pilsko, but we are yet checking what will be the weather if we actually can climb it soon or not. But we will do a mountain climb video on the Bigode Extreme. And this is really the content I want to focus on now. More of a lifestyle and uh, revolving about, you know, the skill set, the adventure, the story, rather than only about the product itself. And with this additional time, I also want to get to know you guys a bit more. I really want to make some clinics, either in Poland or abroad. I really love teaching. I'm a open-minded person. I like talking to people. I'm extroverted. So I would really like to go through different cities and make group rides or go to some sort of training event where I could teach you some of the skills like backwards riding, going downstairs, making uh, jumps, etc., etc. I really, really love that stuff. And I've been doing that already when I was going to cities. Now I want to make it a bit more official. And the question is if you would want to take part in such a event, if it had some tickets involved. So if you need to pay for the entrance, like let me know in the comments below. 
I also want to travel a bit more uh, the coming year. I want to visit some new places. I want to explore the world with this thing because, well, this is the best way to explore any city or any area, really. I want to visit some friends. I want to check out Vancouver again, uh, meet Albert again, see Liam, Aaron, Dino eats delivery, because, uh, well, that's what I really want to do. And of course, I want to take all of you guys on the journey with me. So if there will be some sort of adventure, some new places to visit, some exciting new skills that uh, I want to share with you guys, you will be there with me, with the help of the camera that is recording me right now. So with that said, I, I'm very actually happy talking about this. I, I, it's, you know, it's a gloomy day. I wasn't really sure about uh, recording this video, but now that I'm saying this out loud and already imagining how I publish this content, I'm, I'm quite happy about myself. Uh, oh yeah, I want to also talk about accessories. I want to talk about my helmet. I want to talk about my intercom and like group rides. How to make group rides. There's like just so many ideas brewing in my head and I couldn't be more excited to put them on, not on paper, I'll put them on a digital memory on my iPad and then I'll put them online. But I can't wait to, to do that and share that with you. So with that said, I hope you're still here. I hope you're watching. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you, yes you, <laughs> in the next video. See you soon.